everybody and welcome to part three of our corporate website design tutorial. Uh, today we are going to be continuing along on this and just get started on this three box area right here. Um, I don't really like the gradient that we gave this so let's just quickly change that and I believe this is the layer. Let's name this right here to try box BG and double click it and I'm going to give it a uh, very soft gradient and it's going to be let me drag all my boxes up <clears throat> I'm going to have very light gray let's try that and let's just sample that gray right there and make it slightly darker um, I guess that's good we'll give that a try hmm how do we like it hard to decide we'll go with that alright so when we have that I'm going to probably trim this down but we'll see what's going on with that let's create a new layer above it and I'm going to grab the pencil tool and zoom out Hit click D to make my color black hold down shift and just drag across where did that draw it okay it was hiding alright so now that we have that I'm going to drag it up to about right here so there's a slight gap after the blue and we're going to scale this down to that line and this to the side to this side as well and then let's scale this up to about I don't know let's go with right here see what that looks like something like that alright so when you have that you can uh, take this line here double click it color overlay sample that gray background and then make it darker something like that click OK and then alt it and drag it above it and arrow down double click color overlay and again sample a light color something like that and we can make this one the dark line just a little bit lighter so it doesn't stick out as much alright very simple but it looks nice alright when you have that um, you can go ahead and what is this line let's delete that we don't need it I was drunk when I said that no I'm kidding alright so scale this up and leave it there and then let's grab or let's group this together as our uh, try BG create a new layer and then grab your text and um, let's quickly switch over to here and grab a sample of some text that's good copy it and this is just lipsum.com just some lorem, lorem ipsum text just so we don't confuse you with great English I don't know paste it there and delete quite a bit of this scale this down to about 13 font is going to be regular and then the color is going to be a dark gray so again sample that background and let's make it dark something like uh, like that looks good capitalize that sit right there then I'm going to click enter a couple of times go to the top and type title 1 and we're going to make that larger let's go with 20 pixels just to keep it nice and simple and then let's darken it and make it bold and let's go ahead and center it as well and let's make it sample title one so it, so it looks longer alright so I'm going to scale in these two sides here uh, just so it's some fake padding and normally I would have some images here to, uh, to, uh, you know, to give some character to these three boxes, but I'm planning on having images in the two rows that we have down here. So I just don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to hold on Alt and Shift, and I'm going to scale it over to here. Or not scale it, but drag it over to here. And line it up. Do the same thing over here. And line it up. Alright, I'm just playing, uh, just guessing with the line alignment for that. 
I'm going to bring them down. So let's quickly change this title to title two and then title three. And when you have that, let's uh, scale this background to, uh, to size. And we're going to scale it up to about right here. And then let's grab this white white line. Um, let's see, let's grab this darker line and drag it to the top, duplicate it, and then drag this down. Like that. And then change the color of it to a uh, lighter gray. Just like that. Okay, so it's very subtle again, but it looks it looks crisp and nice. Alright, so when you have that, we can group these three together and we'll call this center boxes. Save it. And let's create a new layer. And I have some images, just little icons that I got from an icon finder. And I'm going to grab and drag all six into here. And I believe that they are 36 pixel, pixels each. So, or 32 pixels each, so I'm prob probably going to just leave it at that size. And there should be six of them. Three, six. Okay, good. So let me drag these over to the side here. Oops. Select them all and drag them to the side. Just to about right here. And then take this last one. Drag it down. Let's see how the spacing looks. So I'm going to take this last one and the top one. And align by... Uh, or arranged by the center. And it looks like they need to be spread out just slightly more. So I'm going to grab this phone or the clock, the last one, and just bring it down and align it again. And that looks better. And now we're running out of room on our canvas. So I'm just going to image, canvas size, and I have it on relative so that I can just add pixels to it. And I'm going to click the top arrow to get rid of it and height. I'm going to grow it by about 200 pixels, let's see. Looking good. Alright, so when you have that, we can group these together and just call it content. Alright, and let's copy this text over here, this uh, lipsum text. Copy it, and then we can just create a couple of rows of text here. Um, let's go to the top here. Create a couple of rows, paste it in, and delete some of this text. And let's drag the box over it's just so it's not so uh, so long. Like that. All right. So when you have that, we're just going to duplicate this six times, or five times rather. Um, and one more time. All right, so it looks pretty ugly just duplicated, but it doesn't matter. We're not going to waste time with that because that's not the important part. So I don't think I want a background on this, so I'm going to come on down to, um, where's that background even at? Let's see, that's this one right here. Okay, so just delete this right here. And I'm going to leave this one because that's the sidebar. And it looks like I need to duplicate this one more time. All right, very good. So um, I'm going to actually, yeah, I'll leave it as, as is for now. And this is the sidebar. All right, so I'm going to scale this down so it's the same height as these images. And then scale this side down. Looks good. And um, I'm going to stop it here. In the next section, we are going to clean this up a bit and uh, get the content for this sidebar. So here's where we are at right now. Um, one quick thing, because it's been bothering me. I just want to make sure that this green button is aligned. Yes, it is. All right. And let's make sure this is aligned. Yes, it is. Very good. All right. So we're going to leave it at that. And next time we're going to do, as I said, this right here and this. So stay tuned. We're going places. See you next time.